Hello. This is regarding the Asus Zonar HDAV 1.3 audio card that everybody is having a lot of problems with since migrating over to Windows 8. Um, the control panel does not work. Um, so you do not have to install the whole driver package. It's useless anyway. Um, you can install just the, the driver. Um, you will get sound but it will be stereo because it's defaulted to turn on only the stereo. Now if there's anybody out there that knows how to uh, hack the, red, the, the registry and could flip a few switches for us in there would be awesome but to install it without installing the whole package all you need to do is go to the device manager if it's unknown like I've already done this if it's unknown you just right click on it and tell it where the driver is and what I did was okay update the driver software I browsed my computer I told it exactly where it was where I where I downloaded it from go to your your software driver click OK and uh, I will cancel it but it's already done it's already installed but that's basically all you have to do you don't have to install the whole driver package we'll close this now I'm going to use foobar and this is all done in the Windows 8 Pro So I have a choice of playback devices. This is without hooking up any HDMI cords to the audio card. This is all done internally because the control panel, like I said, doesn't work. So externally it will not work. So here's the card, the Asus Zonar audio driver and then there's your pass-through device too. I'm using an NVIDIA video card. Give it a little test here. And uh, the NVIDIA high definition audio is default. Now we will go up here to the ASUS setup and uh, we'll do a little test here. It'll only be in stereo. As you can see, 48 hertz, two channel. It's going through all the on the other speakers because it's set to do 7.1 but there's no driver for it really to turn all that on um, the pass-through does work too again just in stereo 96 kilohertz I've got it set at uh, and two channel the sound works I will set it as the default device. It's still going through the NVIDIA bypassing and going through the NVIDIA driver. pass-through device part of it
and we'll go back to the NVIDIA. Which will be a lot clearer. Now, if there's anybody out there that knows how to work with your registry and be able to turn the multi-channel part of it on would be greatly appreciated since ACES is unable to do this for us we need to take matters into our own hands and do this for ourselves if we want to continue using this audio card because this audio card is compatible it's the control panel applet that ACES created which they rarely ever update is the problem. Hey, thanks for watching this.